have. All right, we're joined today by Eric Norwood of the Carolina Panthers. Eric, year three coming up right now. Talk a little bit about your third year coming to the league. What did you learn your first two training lessons? First thing, just keep persevering to things, whatever, whatever it may be on the field, off the field, just, just keep going hard. Just, Okay, you, you're coming in now. It looks like you've gained a little bit of weight coming into the season there. What have you done in the offseason? Offseason just lifted, lifted around, lifted and ran, ate well, tried to eat well. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've actually, I actually lost in this week, about 257 for the eight right now. At 265, 270 last year. Last night, I know you talked about it. But going to pro football, it's not going to be a bring all the receivers. Just being all ball, all ball, 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 I mean, it's one of the schemes that I have myself in before, so I don't think it would suit me a little better than the 4-3, but it really doesn't matter where it's like. I've noticed in practice you've been a little bit more chippy this year, that there's been some pushing and shoving going around like that, though. Competitiveness, can you talk a little bit more about the competition? I mean, it's deep. The competition is deep for me. Yeah, definitely. You just got to go out there. You got to hold your own out there. Right in there, whether you get three reps or whether you get 15 reps. I know that it's probably different. The rookies are excited coming up with the first exhibition game on Saturday. Mike and Eric State is over. You know, what do you look to get out of this game? This is, like I say, year three. What are you looking to get out of the game Saturday? Just to stay consistent, just to take things from the from the practice field to the actual game field and just get back in the flow of things. So I think, I mean, I had a lot of time off last year, you know, on the teams, it's some of the games I've been active. Had a lot of time off, so I mean, it'd be like me playing with them. This is my first game of the season, my first real game. That's what I've All right, do you get back down to Columbia very much during the offseason? Uh, two or three times. On the offseason, I try to get out there. Just whether it be basketball game, baseball, or just going to hang out with some of the old guys that I play with. So. Do you ever stop and think? Yesterday I was down there for the media day, and they had for the media they had a bottle of the Spurrier Vineyard wine with the <laughs> with the ring with the eleven on it. But do you stop and think back that you know you were the guys that laid the foundation for that, the ones that actually came up with the winning seasons? A lot of people look, well, hey, they won eleven, but you know y'all were the ones that got the ball rolling down there. I mean, you know, it's it's good. I mean, we're. Even though those guys are winning it right now, we were, it just feels good to be a part of it. Like you said, just to know that you helped play the foundation along with other guys. But you know, they, they're going on the road right now. On that Look well, again, you guys put them on the map down there. They can remember that. They're the guys who made the statement. They were. Any goals you have coming into the season this year? Uh, just to uh, be consistent and improve my game as a whole and show people that I can't be that dominant kind of player. So. Well, we look forward to seeing you out there on the field this year and we hope that the guys in Columbia will remember their elders who put up that map in Columbia. <laughs> hope to see you Thank you. All right.